Hey everyone, welcome back. Mary with Chief Financial Mom. Today we are talking about bill cubes. Follow me and here we go. More information on bills and how to keep power within your hands. So let's talk about bills. So once you've got your cubes all set up and you're raring to go, the next section that I like to use is something called bill pay. And so if we go into our bills here, you can see I've got multiple bills that are reoccurring. Most of them are reoccurring on a monthly basis. And so I can click on that. Uh, the money can come in. And let's say in this case, it's been interesting actually, this one in particular has been trying to charge my cube $60 a month when it really should have been $10.25. And so without my doing anything, that transaction has been denied three times now. And finally, I called the gym and just said, look, it's not going to go through for the $60 charge. You can get $10.25 out of my account. Um, please make that change. So the nice part is I wouldn't even have to call them. Either way, that access is denied. Let's say I no longer want that access. I can also click pause pay payment and hit that payment or uh, just return it. You can also transfer money in and out same ways, internal transfer or out peer to peer uh, and allows you to move money. The nice part is it puts this, your bills back into your hands and your control, especially on things that occur on a monthly basis. You can see here, I've moved some money in and out and around because um, there was a special uh, cost here that I had not incorporated before. So that helps move uh, money into the cube that you actually need it in. I hope this helped. It's a great way to keep money in your pocket and keep track of all the various subscriptions that you have. Hey, I hope this video helped you in setting up your cube. If you wanna try it out, you get eight weeks free by using the promo code Mary, M-A-R-Y. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe below and there'll be more coming for you.